Chapter One Point Two, A Close Call. Kayla woke up with a twist. Exhaustion had put her asleep despite her best efforts to stay awake. The computer was beeping with a high-pitched warning sound. She had been unable to lock down the space station or alter its security protocols. But she had managed to set the alarm in case anyone came in from the outside. She looked at the display and saw a 3D hologram. There was a whole squad of heavily armed men in battle suits, advancing on her position. She looked at the remaining time to make gotcheap. The timer said 10 minutes, and there was no way she would be able to hold out for that long. Kayla made up a plan. She needed to divert the angels for long enough to have the god chip done. Once she was in possession of the god chip, she would hopefully have a mean to deal with the angels who all had the weaker angel chip implanted. Kayla limped out of the control center and took a position in a side corridor that the angels would pass shortly. She would need to distract the angels from the control center where the replicator was working. Kayla was also required to be level-headed enough to find the way back to the control center and pick up the god chip once it was assembled. That was easier said than done, being in a new building with bullets hailing around her head, but she just had to have faith in her abilities. She was interrupted in her thoughts when she spotted an angel running down a parallel corridor heading to the control center. With no time to waste, she lifted her pistol and shot at him. As she had anticipated, the gun was not powerful enough to penetrate the angel's battle armor and instead the bullets just ricocheted off him. The shot did catch his attention however and he raised his rifle to shoot at her and Kayla jumped around the corner in the last second. She could hear him calling out his group to follow him. Her plan was working now, she just needed to keep them occupied. She turned around the corner and shot at the angel again. Yet again, the bullets bounced off his armor, but this time he was joined by his peers setting off in full pursuit after her, realizing that her bullets were unable to penetrate their battle armors. Kayla understood she could never outrun the angels in her condition, after all their battle armors contained an engine that assisted their motion and gave them superhuman speed. While she had a bullet in her thigh, slowing her down immensely. She did, however, have one advantage. Her small frame made her fit into openings that they would not be able to fit into. Kayla got the edge of the corridor and just managed to get into a ventilation shaft when the angels opened fire at her. One of the bullets partially struck her other leg and she could feel the pain and blood dripping on the floor. Kayla could not let her injuries stop her though and she crawled through the ventilation shaft. One of the angels threw a gas grenade into the ventilation shaft. She looked behind her and she identified the grenade. It was a powerful sleep inducing gas and one breath would be enough to knock her unconscious. So the solution for her was to not breathe. She was at the exit of the ventilation shaft 50 meters ahead of her. It would be 50 tough meters crawling in a narrow ventilation shaft with the injuries she had sustained. But it was what she had to do. She squirmed and wriggled, but the girl did not seem to get any closer. She was close to passing out and she closed her eyes. Then it came, 
the visions of her in paradise with her mum, her ancestors and other spirits by their side. You can do it, they all said in unison. And as she looked up, she was at the end of the tunnel opening the ventilation shaft proceeding back to the divine control center. She got up and she limped to the particle replicator machine. The display said 20 seconds and she could see the group of angels entering the room. In desperation, she lifted her pistol and fired off the remaining rounds at the angels. Upon hearing Kyla's pistol clicking as it ran out of ammunition, the angel Samuel took off his helmet. He quickly walked towards Kayla while screaming obscenities towards her. Samuel said, Not feeling so tough now, you fucking whore. I will rape you and give you a slow and utterly painful death for what you did to our grandmaster Abraham. Kayla said, Oh, I'm tough all right. I'm not the one bringing an army to beat one small woman. As for raping me, I bet your dick is too limp to achieve that. Samuel said, Oh, we'll see about that. Kyla said, All right, I'm here. Come to get some, tough guy. After saying this, Kayla demonstratively turned around, pulled her pants down, and showed her private parts to the group of angels. This was, of course, a diversion, and she could see the timer on the replicator ticking down as Samuel got out of his battle armor, ready to force his manhood through raping her. As the timer reached zero, the god chip came out of the replicator Without hesitation, she crammed the chip straight into her ear. As it merged with her brain, she screamed loudly in pain and released a psionic shockwave so strong that it knocked herself, the angels, and all the people on Eden unconscious.